What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we're gonna check out top 20 shocking returns in SummerSlam history. Yes, SummerSlam is already uh passed, but you guys have been hitting me up in uh in the DMs on Instagram and on Twitter to check this video out. So, guess what? I'm gonna check it out for you guys. Appreciate all the love and support on the channel man uh you guys have been running it up as of late and i just want to say thank you guys we're almost at 90k and uh, let's get right into this one should be a good one hey oh. <laughs> the only thing i don't see here is a stanley cup good old uh oh i love when you hear that you think you know me it gets me every time. Toronto's up. It's, it's glad. It's, it's good to see that we're going to get another uh, Edge return in this video, obviously, from SummerSlam as well. Uh, that's the thumbnail of the video, Edge return from this SummerSlam. And uh, I just I just love to see Edge. Anytime I hear you think you know me, it just it brings me joy. Oh. Love to see it. Greatest ever, the rated R superstar. The emotion in Edge's eyes. Oh man. Look at that man. Is this was good. This was good. I think a lot of us knew Bailey was gonna return at SummerSlam. This was really good. This was very, very good. Easily one of the best moments from SummerSlam this year. The NXT call-ups and Bailey returning. I forgot about this one. <laughs> I can't wait for Big E to come back. The, the pop he's going to get, depending on how they bring him back, it's going to be good. Wishing you speedy recovery, Big E. Man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Randy Savage, man. Rest in peace. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Who the hell? The <laughs> he said, who the hell? <laughs> Kevin Nash. <laughs> I remember watching it. And I was so confused. I'm like, what the fuck is Kevin Nash doing here? Why is Kevin Nash here? <laughs> and he just walked away. Oh, this is when Michael Cole was at his worst. Way, way, way it was cool to see Daniel Bryan take his spot. Nexus definitely should have won this, but, you know, we all make Daniel mistakes, Bryan. John. <laughs> Eternal suffering. Not eternal suffering. Oh, not another, oh, not another one. Poor Ray. <laughs> the Undertaker. Yep. What the? <laughs> that that look. No. No. Oh man, I missed the Undertaker. Yep. HBK versus Triple H. Unsanctioned match, man. It was it was his first time uh wrestling. Uh it was his first time coming back wrestling after he had like a four year hiatus from WWE. So great match. Fun match. Oh, Bro, Edge is gonna be all on this list, and it's great. This was a good entrance too. I forgot this was at SummerSlam. I forgot. This was so good, bro. This was so cool. We watched this on live. Uh, we did a lot of stream reaction to this, and we marked out with the brood entrance. And then you switch it to to the uh, I think the the you think you know me entrance too. Damn. Hey, 
time to play the game. <laughs> Who misses the old school SummerSlam sets where they used to be so extravagant and stuff? Like, who misses those? I miss them, bro. Ah, bring them back, WWE, if you can. The SummerSlam sets used to be like the entrance ways used to be so cool. Bring back the unique entrance ways in WWE, like the themed ones. <laughs> oh, bro. One of the greatest entrances by a wrestler of all time, bro. So creepy and and so like <laughs> scary at the same time, but dope. Oh, Becky Lynch. Has this confidence that although she's been beat numerous times by Bianca, crowd went crazy. I went crazy, and then. Uh, it just, it, it, it went south very quickly. Yeah, that, that was a good return. And then it just got, it just got ruined. Uh-oh. This is the Hulk Hogan era right here. For my time. <laughs> you had the crowd hype back then. Oh, <laughs> you spit on him. Oh, this is the Undertaker. Classic match. Classic match. Yep. You heard that gong and them lights went out. You knew shit was about to get real. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good return this was a great return oh oh man i wish the crowd was here for this one oh this was such a great return oh my god this is good Bro, this is wreck everyone and leave. This was so good. <laughs> the ultimate warrior, rest in peace. <laughs> Damn, that was quick. It looked, it looked like that was very quick. And it snatched away from him at the last moment. Crawling to the earth. Trying to seek the power. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. What's that? Oh, my God. Paul Bear, rest in peace. By the Undertaker, a man his side. No, he's done on one knee. One knee's gone. Two. No. No. Damn, a young Undertaker, man. The Eradicator strikes. Of course, this was, this was a good one, too, man. Just to see Edge. And it's like seeing Edge, bro, return, make his his returns, dog. It's it's, it's they're always they always hit. They always just leave you wanting more, man. Again. I mean, everybody kind of knew who it was. This was a cool one, though. Oh, the founder of the this was cool, though. Walking with a mission. <laughs> I remember this one, boy. Boy, Dub was pissed. <laughs> he would be pissed at watching this video. <laughs> I was actually for this only because this was a different Roman. Roman was a heel. Brock was the face. And I was looking forward to this. And the match I had at Crown Jewel was okay. I didn't, you know, I wasn't a big fan of the finish. I think the best match they had, obviously, in my opinion, was WrestleMania 31 match. And uh, this last SummerSlam match, easily one of the, the second best.
it damn near it's it's the second best in the sense of I guess you could say because we were so tired of seeing them go at it, but what they did and the crazy spots they pulled off made that match um, so good. But the first one, WrestleMania 31, very good. That's easily their best match. So this was interesting because Roman was a heel now. And he was a different person than what he was previously. So, yeah, man. Um... This was a cool list. I, I don't know if I would have put Brock at number one. I don't know. I, me personally, I don't know. I, I guess you could say it makes sense because when I watched it initially, uh, I was shocked. And I was very intrigued because I wanted to see what they were going to do with Brock and Roman now that Roman is in this mega rogue mode. So I guess it makes sense for it to be up there. But I don't know, man. I, I, I feel like maybe... Maybe Edge is like the brood one. I pr probably would have put that one at number one when he was going against Seth Rollins. That was a good one. So, I don't know. But comment down below. Let me know. Do y'all agree with this list? Do y'all feel like Brock Lesnar should have been the number one shocking return in SummerSlam history? Let me know down below, man. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on my channel, man. I really am very thankful for all the support. And I appreciate y'all kicking with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.